Hey, hey, Aspen Mountain peeps. Happy Friday and happy Valentine's Day to you out there. We're going to tell you exactly what you need to get for your missus or your mister to make them happy, to never have to work as hard in the bathroom again. Stand by. We're going to talk about that. First of all, if you're watching live, type live. If you're watching this on uh, Facebook, we need you to type in replay or live. And then if you're watching on YouTube, go down there and click on that subscribe button. We want to try to get as many people out there as we can. The more comments we get from you, you might just get a little surprise, but you got to type in comments and let me know that you're, you're watching us. Um, Valentine's Day. We want to get our sweetheart something special, right? I'm taking my wife up to Sweetwater Smoke. Love that place. If you're in Wyoming, got to check out Sweetwater Smoke in Farson Eden. You're not going to find a better barbecue place around. It is wonderful if you love barbecue. I'm going to take her up there this afternoon. We're going to do a nice little meal up there. But I did something for my missus a while ago. And in our first house we own here in Rock Springs, I put in Total Drake Toilets. And the Total Drakes were great. They were awesome. They were fantastic toilets. They flushed great. They've got a huge centrifugal force on pulling down the waste through the trap. And it clears every type of, of thing that you can put inside that toilet. Even toys, believe it or not. They can clear toys. But they came out with a new t Toto not long ago, probably about two years ago now. They came out with what they called the Drake 2. And I love the Drake 2. And the reason I love it, it's got some great features. I'm going to actually flip you around and show you in my own personal home why I put in the Drake 2. Let's flip you around here. So the first thing I love about the Drake 2, oh, didn't flip around, there we go. The first thing I love about the Drake 2 is it's a clean looking toilet. No matter what you do, you can never go wrong. Let's move that off there. You can never go wrong with the look and the style of this toilet. It's just a good looking toilet. Now I got the soft clothes seat. These are not Toto soft clothes. I like the heavier duty Bemises. Um, Toto does design one. I just like this one a little bit better, so I always stick with that one. Um, in, in my boys' ba bathroom, I have the quick clean toilet to where I can pop it off and clean it quicker because the little boys, well, they're nasty. I'm going to go ahead and take off the tank. We'll kind of explain a little bit what makes Toto Drake so unique. Now, I'm going to show you in here. As you can see, there's a little difference in the way this looks compared to your normal toilet. You've got the fill valve which has got a cup system, not a, a ball cock system. Um, and it saves a little bit more room doing it this way. But watch as I pull this up. See, the whole tower does not rise up like in a lot of toilets, and the whole flapper doesn't. Basically, what you're doing is you're lifting this one piece out, and then everything is being sucked in from below, giving more gravity force in the tank, giving it a better flush with less water. That's the number one reason I like it. And it, you're only getting a 1.28 gallons per flush with this toilet. So if you're in California, that probably isn't going to be enough. They do make them in a one gallon flush as well. I want to let that fill up. And we're going to talk about the, the feature of, of the Santa Clean system in this. It's called a, a, a seal synthetic porcelain. And basically what they do is they, they take the porcelain. And in normal porcelain, you'd have like little pit holes in it, okay? Because it's like a clay type thing. And basically what they do is they take this coating and they put it inside it to where it smooths out those holes to where bacteria can't sit inside that. And it also allows you to have a cleaner bowl without ever having to really use a brush very often. I'll be honest with you, we clean our toilets tw uh, once every two weeks and that's it. And really all we do is we put a little bit of, um, of uh, toilet bowl cleaner in there, just a little bit, not much. And then we just take our nylon brush and wrap around there and it, it, we never ever have a water seal. Now we've had these toilets in here for over a year now and we've never ever had this issue with it getting um, any type of water ring built on it. Now, in some cases, I have a, a scale management system so that might help. If you don't have a water softener, you may start to see a little bit of a ring. Um, in that case, you just put a little bit of vinegar down in there and then... Right, wipe it off with your nylon brush and it'll come right off. But watch this flush. It's called a tornado flush. I love this system. I'm going to bring it up a little higher so you can see it. So as you notice, 
the holes aren't all the way around the rim. They're in the sides of the holes, and you have two big holes, one here and one here. And basically it creates a cyclone effect, and it does two things. It first of all cleans the bowl of any type of skid marks from feces or anything like that in there, but it also gives it a more centrifugal force, pushing it down and, and into there. Now, on the back side here, it's a little bit uh, larger trap, um, but it's a fantastic system. The cool thing about this system is they trick the, the trap into thinking that it's actually larger than it actually is. And they do that by putting a little ledge out on the bottom side there. So this is a bigger side and then and they put this little, or this smaller side and then they put this little larger piece coming in there thinking it's coming into a smaller hole. So it creates the force that flushes it down through. Oh, I just noticed that popped off. Um, it, it creates that flush that pops down through and pushes it down through the flange. I used to have Mansfields in this bat in these bathrooms. And I do not recommend Mansfields at all. I think they are junk. Um, but I was coming home almost every other night with an auger to auger my own toilets because my second oldest son probably uses a little too much t toilet paper from time to time. But he was clogging these toilets. Not these toilets, but the Nansfield toilets. And so I'd come home and I'd have to auger it every other night. And I got tired of it. And I finally told the wife, we've got enough money saved up. I'm putting totals in all three bathrooms. And we are not going to have this issue again. And so I took them out. I put totos in there. I have not had to clear it with an auger or plunge any toilet since. These totos take it down the best possible way you can even imagine. Now, I wanted to pull up on my screen. I'm not sure how well it's going to work. A video from a few weeks ago with Toto. Um, they were showing us the, the tests that they run on the the toilets prior to sending them out and developing them now toto is is they're they're designed in japan but they're strictly in in the united states as well now and all the toilets in the united states are made in the united states in california um i want to show you this quick video if i can find it real quick just bear with me here it should be just in my pictures here but i want to show you this video because this video will show you exactly what um, Toto does to, to develop their, their um, maybe it's on my phone actually, it might not be able to show it. But anyways, they, they take a ball and they it's like a ping pong ball and they hook it to a string that's on a meter. And that's how they test the centrifugal or, to, or the Newton uh, force on a toilet on the flush. And when they did it to the the Toto, most of your toilets were hanging around about five or six. Um, when they did it on the toilet, it was around a 9.1, showing that it's the strongest force on the Toto's end as far as flushes. So that's that's why we recommend Toto toilets. We love Toto toilets. Um, I would be all about Toto toilets. If you want a, a good quality Valentine's gift for your missus, Look at Toto. I mean, they're the way to go. They're a little bit more pricey, but when you take into account the amount of money you save... Hey, Jason, thanks for joining us. When you take into account the amount of money you save on not having to auger or time that you save on not having to auger or plunge your toilet, it pays for itself. And I'm going to tell you right now, we only clean it. We have three little boys, very nasty little guys. Um, we only clean it twice a week, and it stays perfectly white and shiny, just like you saw right there. I'm telling you, these toilets are the top of the line. You cannot go wrong. When you look for a good car, you look for a Ferrari or a Porsche or something like that for speed, right? When you're looking for to toilets, you're looking at Toto. That's that's the comparison. It really is like a Nissan as Mansfields. <laughs> and if you have a Nissan, I'm not saying they're bad. I'm just not saying that they're not no sports car like a Ferrari or, or a Porsche. Those things are built for speed. And Toto is built to handle anything. And I guarantee you that you know, there's not much you could put down it that you wouldn't be able to flush. Have a wonderful weekend. Have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Hope you take out your missus or your, your mister or whoever is watching this. Or your boyfriend or girlfriend out for a wonderful night. Enjoy it. And we'll catch you next week.